Okay, the other overlay option that you can do is what's called green screen. Now, in order for green screen to go, just say for example here, if this background behind me was green, I could replace it with something else. And iMovie is very simple to, to do it with that. So the first thing we need is we need a bit of a green screen movie. Now, I have one on my desktop, so I'll just import it into my one. So we could drag it straight in from the desktop. But here's a bit of green screen. Now it's just a green background, you can see it. And it's only just the, the, the cards. And what they do is they just move across. So it's only something really, really small, just to, to show you. The important thing is that it's a continuous green and that you have good light set up. So I have softbox lighting set up here. But just make sure you have good lighting set up. Ideally, if you could have a wall that was painted or if you had um, a green sheet, just make sure there's no creases in it. If it was a wall that was painted, make sure it's not shiny paint because you'll get the light shining back of it and the, the camera's going to pick that up as being white. So it needs to be like a flat, matte type finish. So I've selected the video and I'm going to go to import. So it's going to import the video and you can see it here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all the video. I'm just going to drag it in. Now if I play this across, so I'm just going to play it across as a normal video. So I just press play. So it plays. You can see it's playing that background there. Then it sees that video, it plays it, and then it goes back into the video. Because we haven't put any settings in place yet, it's still in as overlay. So it's still play this video, then play the other one, and then go back to the first one. But what we need to do is we need to click on the video first of all. So I'm clicking on it now. I've selected that video. And what I want to do is I want to go up to the overlay titles or the overlay options. So you can see them up at the very top here. So once we click on it, we click on the overlay options, it gives us this cutaway option. I'm going to click on the cutaway option and I'm going to go to green or blue screen. And that's me telling the computer, listen, this is a green screen. So we click on it. Then what you'll see, so you would have seen it happening there. I'll undo that just to let you see it happening. So I click on it, I go to green screen, and now you can see it. So the computer sees the green as being invisible. So when it gets to here, I'll just play it back. So we skip a wee bit. We play it back. Now you can see these things are at the front of the video. And then it goes on. So what it does is it removes the green from it. There's different options we can do as well. So we could we could crop the options in if we only had a certain amount of green around it. Or we could um, do different things like that. So, so there are the options. We could also um, crop it in that it only fits around the certain areas of the screen or we could leave it at fit so there are the options there for the green screen now it works better as we say if you have a nice green like that you can see how well it looks on the screen it's just showing out the, the different areas it totally I removes the green from the background what I may try if and I do for the next set of lectures is maybe get a green background and put it on there for you so that you can see exactly what it looks like